Hello, welcome to week 14 of my pregnancy, my third pregnancy. I can't believe it's week 14. It's going fast now. It seemed like for, through the first trimester and I wasn't feeling that great, it was taking forever. But now we're just like building steam and it is moving. I can see how November would be here very quickly. <laughs> and it causes me to panic a little bit. but. Because we don't have anything for the baby, we don't have the kids' room transfer, you know, we just don't have stuff yet. But, um, after all the excitement and the midwife appointment and the ultrasound last week, not very much exciting stuff to report this week. Um, I mean, it's exciting, of course, but not really anything new. I still have the flutters, I still can feel the baby moving a lot. No kicks yet, because it is only 14 weeks, but, um... But it moves a lot and at all hours, which is, is a neat feeling. That's my favorite part about being pregnant is feeling the baby move. Um, and let's see. Still loving the spicy foods. Just oh, like pepperoni and pepperoni pizza right now is terrible. It's my favorite thing ever. Um, just, let's see, I haven't had any headaches. I still have a little bit of insomnia. But I've always had insomnia, so um, take mel I take melatonin every once, like the third or fourth night when I just absolutely need sleep. Um, and then try to nap when we can. Life has been busy, so naps haven't been happening. But, um, oh, something exciting is I am back to coffee. I, yesterday I started drinking coffee again, which I was so excited. Because I love my coffee just in the morning. It's part of my morning routine with the paper and reading devotionals with the girls in the morning. And I've got to have my coffee. So the first trimester, I couldn't have it. It just made the nausea worse and was not worth it at all. Um, and so I thought I would try it, slowly introduce it again to see. And it's, it's only a cup that, yeah, I drink a day. I don't down a ton of coffee. But... Um, so I'm really happy that it doesn't make me feel sick anymore. And let's see what else. Oh, I'm drinking lots of water to, to compensate for the coffee intake because that's what my midwife said and I listened to my doctor. <laughs> if you're drinking coffee, you've got to drink a ton of water. So I am. <laughs> uh, life this week, guys, has been crazy. My diet has not been the best. Um, as you'll see in a vlog that's upcoming for dinners, but I'm going shopping tomorrow for my two week, and so I am forcing myself to buy salad stuff and um, not any other items that I would rather consume because they taste good. Um, but I'm doing yoga. I am not running anymore. That didn't last. I, I just kind of got worried. My heart rate would get up really high. And I don't know. I know women have run through their whole pregnancy, but it made me feel uncomfortable. So I got this new yoga DVD, and it's an hour-long workout, and it feels like a massage after um, going through it. It's just so calming and relaxing, and you stretch, and it's so good, and it's good for all three trimesters. I'm going to use it after the baby's born, and I think even after that, because just stretching feels really good. And then walking and doing things like that is so um trying to stay active and but that's pretty much it for the report. Nothing nothing overly super uber exciting or I'll let you guys know when that stuff happens. Um but I did have some purchases, okay, because I need some maternity clothes. But I have been way too cheap to spend the price tags that are on. I go in motherhood maternity and I walk right back out because I'm too cheap. I just, I cannot do it. I can't spend 40 bucks on a pair of jeans. So this budget thing has changed me a lot. Um, anyway, so I, we had a garage sale. And we were part of it. And um, in our neighborhood. And the house that was just like over and down a little bit, had a garage sale that was selling maternity clothes, which worked out because that's what I needed from the proceeds of our garage sale. I wanted to go get some maternity clothes. So I'm going to show you some cute clothes I've got. I also wanted to go to a consignment shop that had maternity clothes, and I did that. 
and I've been checking Goodwill and I've been having really good luck. So I'm going to show you guys a few of the things that I have found. Oh yeah. Okay. So this garage sale down the street, um, I was so excited because they had, she, this is like a summery, can you see it on the camera? It's kind of a summery, flowy maxi dress and it's really pretty and um, I've worn it already and I love it and it just feels good. So $4, okay, at this garage sale down the street and it's a, I think it's a Liz Lang, so a Target brand way more than forty dollars in the store and then this cute little thing um, I don't know I might wear this even after baby this one was four dollars as well and it's a motherhood brand um, same garage sale but I can put a sweater over it when it's not hot and wear it uh, with possible boots or there's all kinds of things I can do and leggings and then this is just cute this is a gap uh, gap maternity dress and it's blue and it just it is so stinking adorable um, and so I plan on wearing this a ton this summer another four dollars so that was a good and then I bought a couple pairs of pants that I need to grow into I'm not quite big enough the belly isn't big enough yet but I went to that consignment store and I got this top um, I think it was five dollars and it's a Liz Lang, it's a Target brand. I kind of look like a tent in it because the belly is barely there. But as, uh, it looks like a tent on me I should say. But as I get bigger, it will have more room. And it will be cute. And then I'm a polka dot girl, I love polka dots. And so this is a motherhood shirt that also is at that consignment shop. And I think it was uh, between four and five dollars. And so that's cute. Okay. My favorite is purchased this week at Goodwill. I have been wanting these maxi skirts at like um, Gap, for instance, because they're flowy and they feel good and um, they're nice and cool for the summertime for the heat. And so I've looked and looked, they're like $55 at Gap. And I can't, <laughs> again, I'm too cheap and I can't spend $55. So lo and behold, I walk into Goodwill, and look what is hanging on the rack. A Gap, crazy, I know, a Gap maxi skirt that is adorable in my size. It's non-maternity, so I can wear it after the baby. And it was just hanging on the maternity shelves by itself, like right in the center. I was like, um, $6.99, you guys. So $55 to $6.99, I think I'll take it. <laughs> I grabbed it. Anyway, the belly, I could wear it below my belly or I can cover my belly. And like I said, it's not maternity. So anyway, I was so excited. So that's it. Those are my clothing purchases. Let me show you the belly because I have a little bit of a belly. Let me show you the front. It's kind of like a donut. Like a, with the center being my belly button. But um, yeah, it's there. It's, it's grown quite a bit since I think I've last shown you guys. See? So cute. And then this side. We're getting there. And I, I don't know, this baby I'm kind of um, carrying a little, a lot different than the girls, which could be exciting. I'm a firm belly believer and the shape of the belly determines the sex of the baby. <laughs> because I think I'm pretty good at that guessing game. I don't know, it could be a boy, how exciting that would be. So um, that's it for you for this week, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. Thank you guys for the advice. You have educated and schooled me so much on these topics that I've discussed in these videos. I wish you were around when I had the first two. That would have been a huge help. But anyway, hope everybody has a great week, and we will see you next week. Bye.